Okay, first off, um, you're going to want to get the Barker Mink Pan number two. Um, those are four. Those are, those are the ones that fit the best on the number two square jaw Victor. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, these are rusty. I wanted them rusty. I took them out of the pack, laid them out in the grass, and sprayed them down with a, a mixture of vinegar, salt, and water. And laid them in the grass covers, flipped them over, did both sides. Um, so I wanted I wanted a coat of rust on them. So they took dye and, and matched a trap. Every trap is is going to be a little different now. You know, different styles like a like a jaw tip out number two Victor is is the pan is going to be a little different position when opposed to a jaw tip in number two Victor. Set the trap. And you're going to want to kind of figure out what position you're going to want the pan in. That looks pretty good right there. I did this one ahead of time. You can see I have a pencil mark there. You can make it down here or there, wherever, just somewhere at the edge of the pan. And I made that one. Um, just so I, I have a template, so I don't have to measure every one. I can just mark them. That looks pretty good. All right. The pan is a lot, uh, the pan, uh, mink pan is a lot easier to install with the pan removed from the trap. Get it pretty much in position. Now you can see it's not even. So kind of get everything evened up. Have the mark you made at the edge of the pan so your positioning is right. Just vice grip it fast, like so. Now, all you need to do now is bend these ears over. Crimp them on really good and tight, like so. And this year, you're going to use your needle nose, bend it down. Do the same thing for that. Crimp it on tight. Reinstall your pan. On a mink trap, you want to need a little floppy free play. There's your Barker's number two mink pan on the venerable number two Victor square jaw.